This is one of the best mods of all time. Ultimate Firefight Sand Trap, created by Weaver900, uploaded by Nade Massacre 117 I've been playing this mod after each update, and it's very humbling seeing how the creativity and execution coincides. The way you select your armor is brilliant. You can choose different armor types as an ODST to include your helmet at the start of the game. What's brilliant about it is you have this breathing mannequin in front of you. Whatever armor is on the mannequin is what your character dons. Once you're happy with your selection, you can turn around and you're prompted to enter the launch bay. But first, I want to explore this space a little bit. Cause, you know me, I'm curious like a cat. And, <laughs> whoa, we're in this big hangar. But you'll see exactly where we are on the map here in a little bit. It's an awesome detail. The four towers are for four players to customize their armor as you can play co-op. If you're playing solo, it's recommended that you play on normal difficulty, but I would recommend that you play on heroic if you want a faster paced challenge, at least that's what I experienced. You could find your sweet spot. This is the launching bay and you have so many weapons you could choose from spanning various Halo games. I usually like to take the DMR and the grenade launcher and it's so cool to see Halo Reach weapons looking and sounding so good in Halo 3. Then you can select your partner. The music selection playing in the background for this mod really gets me ready to go into the fray. All right, I'm gonna choose Perp. And before we embark on this mission, I'm gonna take a look at the other half of this huge hangar. We have someone out here standing daringly close to the edge of the ship. And, oh, it's Dare, well, go figure. As we peer outside, we see the map sand trap down there at the bottom, which means we are in the Aegis Fate, the ship above sand trap. This is where I was blown away. Sergeant Johnson, I'm ready to begin. Come on, I'll lead you up. One, two, buckle my shoe. Round start. What an entrance. And each time you play this, you drop in random locations. Therefore, it's not the same experience every time and always look out for where your partner is landing. As you can see, the Halo Reach weapon models are aligned with the character model's hands. The weapon's foley is solid, and it helps make it satisfying to use the firearms. You'll notice as this video continues, all of the weapons and character models ported over into this mod. It's really quite amazing. On the Nexus mod page, where you will download this mod, you can see the creator giving thanks to all of the other modders out there making this awesome mod possible with importing character models and weapon models. All right, our first selection screen. What a cool reward system. And it's not just a black background. You have this gorgeous vista in the back looking all Halo-y. Oh, shucks. And whenever you select a vehicle or a firearm, maybe a group of Marines or a group of Spartans, you'll see this Pelican swooping in to drop off what you ordered and it flies towards you. It's not just one drop-off location on the map. You also get to see the beacon from across the map in case you're playing co-op with some of your friends. Oh, no, 
if you get killed, this is going to be your respawn screen before you get dropped again. You can revive your AI partners, heroes, and your co-op friends. In co-op, this will preserve the amount of lives that you have for each round. Gotta love this Spec Ops DMR. If you hold down the trigger, it fires at a consistent four rounds per second. Whenever you respawn, you do not get to choose which weapons you start off with, and since you don't choose where you land, it may not be very favorable. And I like that. It sort of leaves it up to chance and punishes you in some way if you get too careless. The plasma repeater makes its way into this mod. And I always thought in Halo Reach the animation was really cool with the revolving cylinder and even when it overheats you get to see some of the insides of the weapon. The plasma caster is also in this mod. If you hold down the trigger you'll fire a conglomerate of plasma. If you press the trigger you'll fire one plasma projectile. And I tried it on the worst possible target for this weapon. I ended up just giving it to one of the AI Spartans. It's really effective. And here's the needle rifle from Halo Reach, looking and sounding super sweet. I typically like to have a pelican drop off some marines and then get a warthog, which does come with one driver. I always enjoy hunting around with a group of AI companions, and in this mod, you can accumulate a lot of AI allies rather quickly. Are you even fighting me? There's another variant of the battle rifle in this mod. This is inspired by Halo SPV. It fires two rounds, and if you're zoomed in, it fires a single shot. This is the insurrectionist faction that's firing at us right now. We can make some quick work of them. Oh, hey, look, it's the enemy! Time for medicine. It's still moving. Get to This is the auto shotgun, and it's most effective against unarmored targets. The concussion rifle also says hello in this mod. Some like it hot, so you can use a magma pistol. This pulse rifle variant packs a punch. Introducing the Bulldog. The Gatling guns on the Bulldog are effective against airborne targets.
the bulldog becomes a battlefield fan favorite amongst different species. i glad to see you, sir! When you enter this warthog, your camera will automatically go into a first-person view, which is so cool. It harkens back to Halo Combat Evolved, and you can actually reload your weapon without your character getting out of the vehicle, unlike in Halo Combat Evolved. This is such a visceral view, even if the AI is not the best at driving. And now I get to choose from some Spartans. I'm gonna go with the Spartan 3s. Wave complete. Lives added. Hop in. Unlike the Marines, you can give an energy sword to the Spartans. Look at us. We're as cool as fools in a swimming pool. This whole map is like a playground. And I like how there's a direction to the battle that's taking place. It's not a bunch of AI just scrambled about in a map. It feels like there's a flow, and it probably helps that the AI tags along with you wherever you go. Sometimes they do go rogue, but it's not often. I think it's understated how the AI seems to have been improved in some way in this mod. All the different weapon and character models are very prevalent in this mod, but I think it's just as interesting to figure out what's underneath the hood. What makes this mod feel like it's more clever. Here's an awesome rocket hog that fires three rockets each pull of the trigger until it has to reload for a few seconds. jaw dropped when I saw this enforcer show up. This mod is just so awesome. Let's call in some hell jumpers, odious tees. Oh 
Oh yes, the Prometheans are in this mod, and so is the Didact. This vehicle is named the Destrier. It does boost for a second, and if you press the trigger, it will fire several rounds, but if you hold it down, then it will fire one large explosion of Promethean juice. Hey, Perp found the Bulldog. Even your allies, much like this ODST here, fancy driving the Destrier. Get a metal dog. I can get Sergeant Johnson. Oh, Noble Six, let's go. On my way. Noble Six, you did survive. <laughs> I knew it this whole time. Lives added. Oh. Love how the debris stays on the battlefield and it doesn't just disappear so quickly. Oh my god, what is that? You see that? Uh oh, you hear that? The flood tanks and juggernauts are difficult to put down, but that's the least of your worries. Heavy weapon problem. Oh, <laughs> 
you've got to just play this now. 